So in today's video, I want to talk you through a full review of my absolute favorite Squarespace extension or plugin, and that is Square Kicker. If you didn't know, I am a website designer primarily using Squarespace as my website building platform, which I absolutely love and I love doing for my clients. But honestly, I do not understand how I was coping before I used this tool. This honestly saves me so much time. So I want to explain to you what it is and show you some of my favorite features. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Anna from byrosanna.co.uk. I am a website designer and online educator. And here on YouTube, I share tips about productivity, business, design, freelancing, all of that good stuff. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up while you're there. So let's talk about Square Kicker. This extension came out a couple of years ago. And as soon as I heard about the types of features that it would enable you to add to your Squarespace website, I hopped on immediately, basically. And first of all, I do want to preface this by saying this video is not sponsored at all. I just genuinely love this tool and want to share about it. However, the Square Kicker link in the description of this video is an affiliate link, which just means that I will get a small commission if you do sign up to Square Kicker using that link. So massively appreciate it if you do do that. And it's just an easy way for you to support my channel and my content. So what actually is Square Kicker? It is basically a plugin or extension, whatever you want to call it, that you can add onto your Squarespace website. It does have to be a Squarespace 7.1 website and not a Squarespace 7.0 website. You can figure out which one you're using by going onto your account. If you didn't know, there are two versions and 7.1 is the most up-to-date version and you can use this extension with that. And what it does is just add a load of new design features and functionality that isn't available just natively within Squarespace's design builder itself. So previously as a designer, I would use code to customize some elements of my client's Squarespace websites that I wasn't able to do using the design settings on Squarespace. And I do still use some code on websites for specific things but nowhere near as much as I used to. So this extension has essentially saved me hours of time that I would used to spend coding. So if you are not a designer and you're not a coder this is brilliant for you as well because you don't need any coding knowledge in order to use it. So I'm now going to show you around the back end and some of my favorite features and things that it allows you to do. So once you set up your Square Kicker account, you will have a dashboard that looks something like this. I'm using the designer plan, which means I can use this extension on up to 10 websites at once. But if you are just wanting to use it for one website, you can just get a single plan as well, in which case it will just ask you to connect one website. Um, and it is so, so easy to connect it to your site. All you literally do is click connect new, click the connect with Squarespace button, and it will basically they ask you to log in. I'm already logged in and it's giving me a list of all of these sites that I have access to. I actually have access to a lot, hundreds probably because of me being a designer for so many years now. Um, but they're displayed in alphabetical order so you can scroll down and find the one that you want to connect to this extension. So I found the one that I wanted to connect it to and I'm just going to click to allow. And then there's literally one more step and that's that you just need to copy this piece of code just click the copy button there and paste it into the website's code injection footer area which is super easy we need to do is go to the website that you are adding this to go to settings advanced and then code injection and then just find the footer area and paste in that code that you just copied click save and then you will see there is suddenly this little yellow icon in the top right corner. It says that it's installing and that is literally it. It now has this green message saying that that's all successfully installed. I can see I've got some of these new design settings already. And if you go back to your dashboard here, it says that it's all finished connecting. And that is literally all you need to do. So there is so much that you can do with this extension, but I wanted to talk you through some of my favorite features. One of them being the ability to easily resize images right within the web page editor itself. Normally in Squarespace, what happens is you'll add an image block and it will typically take up the full length of the page or however wide you've set the page to be um, if it's a big file like this. And what you normally have to do is kind of add spacer blocks and position them either side in order to make it smaller. 
and then sometimes that doesn't um, apply when you look on mobile devices as well it will still be much bigger because spacer blocks disappear so that's typically what you had to do before or you need to re resize it to the exact size that you want uh, before you upload the image whereas now what you can do is click on the image or the block itself and you should now see this sk button next to your editing settings here and what you'll notice once the extension is actually installed is you get this little sk button first of all here at the top of the whole site where you can add kind of site-wide design settings and page-wide design settings and you can also see the sk button for the different sections within your pages as well so if you click that you then get design settings specifically for that section or if you want to have design settings specifically for the block you click on the block click the sk icon and it opens up these new design settings here so I just love how easy it makes it to resize images. I just click into image, go to layout um, and literally just alter the width within here. So I can instantly make that image much smaller than it was before without having to use spacer blocks or anything like that. Um, and also the amazing thing about Square Kicker is you can set different design settings in here for different devices. So if we go up to this top right corner here, we've got the option to see how it will look or how this design setting will apply to all devices, kind of the laptop size of device. If we click that, you can see it's slightly smaller. Tablets and then mobile devices as well. So I'm going to say that although on a, um, a big kind of computer screen at the moment, this image is the perfect size. Maybe if we go down to like tablet size, that's looking quite small. So I can actually now adjust the width of this image and it will only apply to tablet sizes and mobile devices. It won't then apply that to the larger devices as well. You can kind of set it specifically for the certain devices. I hope I'm explaining that in a clear way. So I love that you can easily resize things, check how they're going to look on different devices. And you can also go into the block settings and just move blocks around as well. So I can go into layout, change the actual size of the block, not just the image, but also move it around the screen around the page as well, which is amazing because previously, again, you would have to use spacer blocks to kind of control where things appear. And with this, you can actually have images and blocks overlapping sections as well, which is awesome. So one thing that is quite restrictive about Squarespace websites is it has really set um, kind of uses for font sizes. So you only get kind of these four options for headings and these three options for paragraph text in terms of setting what size you want them to be, what font you want them to be, etc. So if you want to have more control over that, this extension allows you to do that as well. So what I can do is set specific size and font settings for individual text blocks. So if we click on this and click the SK button, it will open up the design setting options in this extension for that particular text block. And I can go into text, go to font, and then select which font I'm using. So here we've got uh, heading two. So if we go into heading two, I can now set specific design settings just for this text block here. So click to resize it, make it as big or as small as I like. Um, I can also change the color of this specific piece of text. Um, I can change the spacing, give it a highlight, and I can also change the font as well because that can be quite restrictive with Squarespace websites. So I can literally come in here and choose from hundreds of Google fonts. Um, I actually have some overriding code which is um, added to the website which won't let me change that from within here, but you could do that if you were just using Squarespace's own font settings and you wanted to tweak it a little bit more. Also, while we're on the topic of text blocks, you can add background colors easily or borders, things like that to text blocks just to make them stand out a little bit more. Obviously that doesn't look great, but you get the idea. You can tweak these to fit how you want them. One thing that you can do with these site-wide and page-wide settings from up here is actually add a scroll up button, which I really like adding to my sites that have got long scrolling pages. It just adds something that's helpful for people to navigate around the site. So you can easily add this without using any code as you would have had to before because it's not an option that comes with Squarespace normally. Um, so we can click the enable button and what that will do 
is add a scroll up button to the bottom left of the website and it will apply across the whole site. You can change the colors, um, you can change the background, the style, um, whereabouts it sits in that corner as well. Loads of different settings and that's just a really cute little feature that I love to play with. And then possibly my favorite feature of all is the ability to create split sections um, of different sizes using this extension. So you can see here that rather than just having these sections stacked on top of each other, what I've actually got in this case is two sections placed next to each other. And you can do that easily with this, um, with this extension. So let's say that I want this section to actually just be split halfway through the page. It enables you to have kind of um, images or image backgrounds that sit at the direct edge of the website, whereas you couldn't do this before. So what I can do is go into the section settings from the Square Kicker plugin here, click on layout, and then I can choose how I want to split this section. I can make it a variety of different sizes. I'm just going to go half size here and click apply. And you remember, you can also change how that looks on different devices. So on mobile devices, you're probably not going to want it to be split and you can change that back to full width and it won't affect the desktop size. So then if we want a new section to appear next to it, obviously at the moment we've just got a blank space. What we can do is go onto the Square Kicker extension on the next section or whichever section you want to use. Go to layout and click to create that second half to create this split layout here. And as I say, you can change that to a range of different widths there as well. So those are all of my favorite features, but as you can probably tell just from looking at some of those options um, that I popped up there, there is honestly so much you can do with this and I would highly, highly recommend you give it a go. They do have a 14 day trial as well. And if you do try it and you love it and you want to upgrade, there are a few different plans you can try. Um, the basic will just add it to one website. So if you just want to use this for your own website, for example, this is a great option and it will give you most of those features that I just showed you. There are some more premium features. I didn't cover any of those in this video. So all of those basic things are available um, that I just showed you are available on the basic plan. But if you want more um, advanced features, is you can pay for a pro plan for one website or if you're a website designer like me um, you can pay to use it on multiple websites um, and you can have the agency option if you use loads at once. So just to recap the highlights of this awesome tool obviously the main benefit is that it adds loads of design features and functionality to Squarespace 7.1 websites which you wouldn't have been able to do before unless you were using code. So if you're not a coder or if you found it was taking you loads and loads of time coding specific things to change things like text or the sizes of images or making split sections or whatever it was, you need this tool basically. It is super quick and easy to install. I cannot even stress that enough. I've also found that their customer support is super responsive and super helpful, which is always great with these kind of tools. And they are constantly adding new features as well. So if you are on their designer or agency plans, you get access to those new features early and you can test them out yourself. I have generally just been loving being a little part of their community as the business grows and they're adding new features to this extension. So I hope you found this review helpful. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you want to sign up using my link, that would be super appreciated. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again next week with another video.